What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're doing a top five house video once again. So I did my top five with Tafa recently. You guys really enjoyed that. There's other affordable Middle Eastern brands that I have plenty of with a select number of favorites. In this video, we're doing my top five from Paris Corner. So I'm going to break down. There's a lot of variety here. There's some dark stuff. There's some fresh stuff. It's kind of a full wardrobe, to be honest with you. Stay tuned. So before we jump into this, today's video is brought to us by our friends over at Aroma Concepts. All five of the fragrances I'm featuring from my collection in this video here today can be found over there, as well as a 10% off code for the North American site, as well as for the European site. I'll have links to both down below. Those of you not familiar with Aroma Concepts, they are an official distributor for Paris Corner, and they have quite the offerings available. All the collections are available from Paris Corner here at fantastic prices, like I said, with that additional code down below. So if you're interested in anything you hear and you want to pick something up, definitely click one of the links down below. But now, let's get into this top five. Starting with the very first fragrance that I got from Paris Corner, I bought this one on Amazon from Aroma Concepts, uh, from their store. This was the first, my first introduction to the house. This is from the Killer Oud range. This is Death by Oud. This, oh man, beautiful spices, it's a little leathery, woodsy, it's animalistic, it's smoky, it's warm, and it's a little aromatic, but th there's not really much freshness here. I gotta spray it again, it's so good. <sighs> it's warmed up over here, so it's been a little bit since I've worn it. I really, really love this one. This is supposedly very similar to Chopard's Oud Malaki. I believe that's how you say that. It's either Malaki or Malaki, but... Performance here, well above average, as you would expect. Easy eight plus hours. Projections on the heavier side in the first two hours. This is a heavier wear. Uh, this is definitely not something that's super warm weather friendly, but I do have to say, if you're in a climate controlled environment, that makes that point completely moot and irrelevant because you, you can wear whatever the hell you want if you're gonna be in a climate controlled environment all day. Though I would be mindful of the sprays if you're gonna wear this one to work. Depends on your office setting, obviously, but this is a head turner through and through head turner for having a name like death by oud you would think it's overrun with oud i get zero oud smell from it i do get a warm woodsy feel with a bunch of spice and it's a little bit leathery that's the main things i get from this one with a smoky nuance even though there's nothing listed to make it smoky i get smoky earthy type of feel um it's just it's just lovely it's not too rough around the edges but it's not super smooth either but when i say it's not super smooth i don't mean it's very chemically synthetic or anything it's actually a phenomenal scent profile. Like I said, this was my first pickup. The first fragrance I ever purchased from Paris Corner, and I think I started off with a banger. Again, that's Killer Oud, Death by Oud. One that I just did a full review on that I'm in love with. I don't get but three or four hours of longevity out of it. I've been told that some maceration will do it well, and I'm sure that is going to be the case, but this is from the Amir line. This is Trillium. This is their clone of Elysium Parfum Cologne. Obviously, you can tell based on the cap in the bottle. That's the route they were going. This is mega, mega fresh. This is even fresher than Elysium Parfum Cologne. Super sharp grapefruit, metallic, inky black currant, fruity, clean and musky, a little bit of soft woods, but very bright, super airy, super attractive and easy to like. This is some good stuff right here. As long as you can temper your expectations on performance based on my experience with it so far, I've been going back to it pretty often since I've had it for a week and a half now and I've been wearing it pretty often. Um, it immediately became one of my favorite fragrances from the house. This is great. This is great, especially if you like to wear fragrances, let's say to the gym, to run errands. Let's say you have Elysium Parfum Cologne and it's not the greatest performer on your skin, but you, you want to refresh throughout the day, but you don't want to just keep spraying your expensive fragrance over and over. This can be that refresher. This can be kind of like uh, your travel bottle, I guess, for Elysium Parfum Cologne. So you can refresh with this because the scent profile is pretty much nailed down. Obviously, it doesn't smell in the same quality, but this would be a great refresher to save sprays. Start your day with Elysium Parfum Cologne end your day with some sprays of this or whatever. This would be a good version of Elysium to wear to the gym. If you like them fresh and weak, like I do, because this isn't the strongest fragrance, our projection, about four hours of longevity. It's kind of in the sweet spot for how fresh this is. Obviously, I'm sure many would desire more, but this is one of the best smelling fragrances uh, I've put my nose on, because I'm a big fan of the DNA, and they somehow managed to make it even fresher than what it's a clone of. This is great. This is absolutely worth trying. 
This Paris Corner Emir Trillium. So now we're going dark and heavy. The quality, this is the highest quality fragrance in this video, for sure. They used higher quality oils and raw materials for this. This is a clone of Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomade. This is Le Despoir Ombre. This is a monster performer, a bunch of oud funk, a little bit of florals. It's ambery. It's got a bit of a patchouli smell to it, which I don't even remember if patchouli's in the notes. But this is a beast. <sighs> Funky, animalistic, dark and rich, and like I said... The quality is actually really good here. I'm still very impressed by this one. They did the scent profile justice. This is the affordable way, in my opinion. I haven't tried every clone of Ombre Nomad, but this is incredible. I don't think I need to go beyond this one because th this was a clear-cut choice for this video because it's just that damn good. Magnetic cap's always a great touch. Great atomizer. Bottle looks cool. And most importantly, the scent smells of high quality and the performance is ridiculous. It can be overwhelming. It can be too much. Mindful of the sprays. If you don't want to overwhelm yourself, let alone other people. If you're looking for a beast that's a great oud, a great oud for the money, you're going to want to check out Le Despoir Ombre. Next, this is a clone of one of my favorite fragrances of all time. The difference here is it's a little bit fresher on the citrus, a little bit more musky in the dry down. It is in the Ymir range. Sidrat Essence, which is a clone of Mancera Sidrat Boisset. You can get this in the $30 to $40 range. Some places, I mean, it all depends. There's, there's a code with the link down below. I forgot exactly what it's going for, but this is a solid performer. Not a beast. Six to eight hour range is what I've been getting in longevity on my skin, which is kind of in the range of what I get from the original, the real deal. Man, but this is more lime, lemon, zest. And brightness, though citrus is very, very watery at the top. This is fresher than the original. Kind of like how this is fresher than the original. They managed to do that for sure. Uh, but this one's still a pretty good performer overall. This, if I was ranking the, these five, this would be number one. If I would have ranked it, this would have been number one. This is my favorite fragrance that I own from Paris Corner. Because it's a fresher twist on one of my, like, 10 favorite fragrances in my 1,000 plus fragrance collection. It's damn good. It's absolutely worth trying. If there's ever been such a thing as budget Cidrat Boise, which you can already get that one in the $65, $70, $75 range, you can get this for half of that or better. And it's not one-to-one, -one, but it's pretty damn close. Like I said, it's fresher citrus at the top than it is sweet fruitiness like the original, and it's more musky than it is woodsy in the bottom versus the original. Just... I said it's my favorite from Barris Corner. It's a mere Sidrat Essence. This one's so unique. It's a clone of Aqua de Parma's Colonia Oud. It makes me want to try the original because this one's so damn good. I did a full review on this one. This is also in their Amir line. This is called Resurrection. This is orange and lemon grapefruit smell with oud and leather. And more of a dry animalistic leather oud combo. It's this one's something. It's astringent, it's it's a little stingy and zingy. I know that's an odd combination, but boy, if you smell this one, you'd be like, oh, that's what he means. Yeah, stingy and zingy. It's sharp, it's a little funky, it's a little animalistic, it's a very watery citrus, it's very inviting, it's quite unique. I mean, I know it's a clone, but Aqua de Parma Colonia Oud's quite unique, is how I would look at it. I have nothing else that smells remotely close to this. The only thing I could get that I think would smell just like this would be Aqua de Parma Colonia Oud. And you can get this one at a bargain. All of these fragrances can be had at a bargain. That's the point. They're very affordable. Uh, quality, quality dupes is the way to look at these. This is a performer though. This is more of a summertime Oud. I still would be mindful of the sprays because it is pretty strong and it is pretty animalistic, even though it's stingy and zingy. Um, and there's a lot of citrus here to be had. It's a little bit more of a challenging wear than the rest of these. I, I would say these are the two that probably offer the greatest challenge, but they also offer the greatest reward for the wearer with the wearing experience. If you want to step outside the box and kind of veer away from the crowd pleasers and the everyday designers and stuff like that, and you want to try something that's out there, it's more of a niche overall scent profile. So you don't want to spend a bunch of money on the originals because they're expensive. They can be expensive. If you want to bargain, try out, you know, before ever going into that, this is a good way to do it. And I think Resurrection is phenomenal. If I was ranking this, this would have been number two. 
behind Sidrat Essence because it's just so unique. That's the biggest thing for me. Stingy and zingy. Emir, Resurrection, a clone of Aqua de Parma, Colonia Oud. Well, that's the five that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Once again, I want to thank the good folks over at Aroma Concepts for taking care of this video for us today. There's definitely links down below for the North American market and for the European market with a 10% off code if you're interested in checking out any of these fragrances. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these five and you give them a spray now, there's a real good chance you'll thank me later because A, you're going to smell great, and B, you're not going to spend a lot of money. Have a good one, guys.